And you're welcome back. Thank you so much for staying with us. We have uh, Dr. Dario Kayode on the line with us. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. How are you today? Uh, great. Uh, let us quickly take a look at the presidential speech that happened yesterday. The president had, you know, mentioned a lot of things. First of, you know, um, expressing his concern and, you know, telling Nigerians how that he feels the pain as well, uh, occasioned by the removal of the fuel subsidy and consequences of some of our policies that were put in place uh, by his administration. In his words, to help and not to hurt the country that he loves so much saying nigerians should uh, you know uh, go through this just a moment of pain while we wait for the greater light at the end of the tunnel i want to know how you react to the presidential speech that happened yesterday my question is is it today that nigerians have been asked to always continue with that pain that at the end of the tunnel there will be light. How long will it take us to get to this light? Mm. How long? All he said yesterday we meant the same thing that other presidents have been saying before now. But between you and me, I will not blame Mr. Tinumbu for saying all that. I will blame the people. Because he is already aware that we the people, we are not a kind of people that can effectively interrogate the government. And why is it that we cannot effectively interrogate the government? It's because the few people that are supposed to be in the forefront of this agitation for a meaningful living standard are selfish. Hmm. They are selfish because the moment they are being settled along the line, they leave the people in further disillusionment. Okay? Now, I don't know how far you have been following some news online. Before the end of August now, this the price, the top price of fuel, is it going to be increased? Is it going to be increased? But the question is, where we are today, as regards the pump price, is that the, is that the po point that's supposed to be? The, the subsidy that you removed, is that subsidy really the true picture of things? Mm. Is it the real picture? Is it the real picture of how it's supposed to be from 192 or 190? So 500 plus, now over 600. Was there even subsidy in the first place? From investigations, and even from the news, coming from the National Assembly, has there been subsidy in many forms? Investigation has revealed that even at 190, NFC have been making a profit of full banana. So why are you subjecting us to pain? Why are you subjecting us to pain? The person you say we are going to date. Is it to date that no man has been buying profit for the people? Is it to date? Mm. Let us say it's going to reduce price of the uh, BLT by 50%. During the last election, was it not reduced? Even after elections, what happened? With the 
No way. Nothing more. But it's just a pity. We don't have an effective uh, 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 labor union and CSO that can be in the forefront of this agitation. Um. Dr. D, do you not think that it is quite unfair to say that we don't have an effective labor union? The labor has, you know, been in talks with the federal government for a while now. And uh, consequently, as how, as at how the, you know, the talks between them panned out, the labor has continued to say that they will be protesting tomorrow. And of course, Moving on from that is uh, a, a strike action, industrial action that might come as a result of, you know, their demands on the federal government not listening to their demands uh, occasioned by the removal of the fuel subsidy. And you still think they are not effective or acting? If only Labour had sworn into action the very first day that this thing happened, by now, we wouldn't be where we are. If labor, the civil society organizations, and uh, the so-called uh, self Nigerian group of those days had swung into action, we wouldn't be where we are now. It is belated. It is belated. And I can assure you, I can assure you, I even doubt, I even doubt, if that strike action tomorrow will take place. Mm. Because according to Labour and the ASU, they said they are still consulting. Consulting for what? This thing was removed instantaneously. So why can't your action to be instantaneous? Why? No, why? Since since the government had decided not to, not to do job with you before unleashing this excruciating hardship on the people. Why should you also do job with that same government to now remove these things? No. Immediately they said they are, they are discussing with the government. What happened? Was it not for that increase from 500 naira to over 600 naira? There are speculations now that before even the end of August, this thing will see increase. And it's because the government knows that the leaders of the people can only back, but cannot bite. If only they had been they had been effective, honestly, we would have been where we are today. And that's why between you and me, I will never blame the government. All right, uh, let, let's, let's go into details of that speech and break it down, you know, bit by bit. Uh, he, he's, the president in his speech said in a little over two months that the government have saved over a trillion naira that would have been squandered on the unproductive fuel subsidy, which only benefited smugglers and fraudsters. He went on to say, that money will now be used more directly and more beneficially for your families. Do you think uh, that, you know, um, there is a political will or a personal will or whatever will at all to actually uh, harness these monies from wherever they are coming from, removed, removed from the fuel subsidy and uh, invested into other sectors of the economy? The first thing to address there is how were you able to amass that savings? Was it through production or from extortion of the people? Mm. Extortion. I'm using that word extortion from the people. That's number one. Number two, if you are telling me that there are some cabals, some Nigerians, that are gaining from this subsidy thing. So that means, in the first instance, what you call subsidy is no subsidy, but stealing by some people. Why don't you identify these people that are stealing this money and then stop them from stealing? 